All right, the Dana White Contender Series is about finishes, and that is exactly what Armand Petrosian got when he knocked out Kalyan Kolev with a beautiful head kick and then followed it up with some punches on the ground as well. Now, he gets his first fight on the UFC contract, and he's taking on the Robocop, Gregory Rodriguez, a man with world-class jiu-jitsu and massive power in his hands. This fight is absolutely going to deliver. You don't want to miss it, but if you miss that knockout from Armand Petrosian on the Contender Series, then take a look at this. Tanyani. We've been like, saying it wrong. Tognone. Tognone. You have to do that thing with your Tognone. hand when you say yeah, it. I, I gotta be more Italian. This Norwegian side of me is not working. Kolev in the red trunks. Petrosian in the blue. There we go. Yep. And already and gets the takedown right away. He does such a good job of closing the distance because he does it with vengeance. He, yeah. he does it with a huge punch in front of it, behind it, masking the takedown. And I never saw him miss, honestly, the in the fence. in the tape that I watched of him coming into this fight. Yeah, not when he throws something in front of it, he locks his hands. He's going to usually take you for a ride, which you see Oof. here. But nice job from Petrosian to get back up to his feet. But we've seen him in fights go through this time yes. and time again. So if you're watching this at home, I wouldn't count him out quite yet because he's been dumped. He's been taken down. He's been controlled, gotten up and landed a body kick and said, night, night, see you later. That's the end of it. So it only takes one for Armin to get up and, and end your night. Kolev rarely goes beyond the first round. He's only gone the distance twice in his 10 professional fights. I love that Petrosian talked about going to Dagestan, going right into the jungle to train with some of the, the grittiest, most difficult wrestlers to face. But oh my gosh, look how Kolev is using, was using his forearm there to shove up the head of Petrosian. I think I saw one of his fights, he submitted a guy with that, and then the guy was complaining yes. and he threw an elbow. Yes, like, I know no, what you're bro, talking about. I was very confused about what happened. Yes. <laughs> he was upset, that yep, other guy. From top, when he was in his guard. I love doing research for these fights sometimes. Find some real interesting They're fights. all over the place. Indeed, we do. Kolov looking for a low, a low ankle pick, looking to treetop it there, but didn't quite get him down to the mat, back in on this body lock. Yeah, and this will be frustrating for Petrosian, who's just like, give me some separation. Yeah, I want a kick. Don't you, want, don't you know I want to kick? Kolev not allowing that to happen, at least not yet. Aiming to become the second Bulgarian on the UFC roster right now. The other one is Blagoy Ivanov. Baga. Nice single. Trying to get around the back. And almost there. Petrosian trying to be offensive when he was against the cage there. He got that Muay Thai clinch, enough separation to land a knee. But unfortunately, when you do that, you take the weight off your hips and you just make it so much easier to be taken down. So it's kind of a you know six of one, half a dozen of the other. Yeah. It's a tough decision to make. Yeah, Kolev is just going to be on you. The second you give him any kind of imbalance, he's going to take advantage of it. Get a body lock. That's been his go-to for this one so far. I mean, you Tries can... it on the legs and then comes up to the body. Yeah, you can land a big shot, but really... You know, the, the trade-off, in my opinion, is not worth it when you have a wrestler, the level of Kolev just this smashing. Is, yes, This is that. what he needs to do, yes. Circle off. There's that kick. Goes Love right that to left. it. Oh, oh big right hand. Him. Just misses on the knee, but lands oh, oh, kick. Oh, no. Got the wizard. Yep. He's got to take that underhook on that side. He can't let Kolev, you can't let Kolev stay in that position long, too long. You can't let him have double underhooks over and over again. It's going to find a way around you, get behind your hips and get you down. See, that's what we're talking about. Petrosian, that's all it takes. You give him a little bit of space, he starts letting his kicks go, and you forget about his boxing. And he hits you with a, a laser beam of a right hand. Kolev does such a nice job of getting at least one hook in right away. It's Hard to pry yourself apart. Oh, he's just on him the entire time. And I love how he's mixing in the offense here. He's not just staying with the body lock, but here he creates space and eats a head kick. Yeah, we're seeing the level difference on the feet here, right? Oh. When you watch tape, Kolev's a, a knockout artist, but he's not fighting the best competition yes. on the stand-up. You see Petrosian is a legit kickboxing threat. Oh, oh. lands a hard oh, right. He needs to forget the knee. Just keep going with the hands. Kolev's going to try to close levels. Oh, oh look at that oh. Oh my that's it. God. Holy 
Holy smokes! Wow! Arvin Petrosian with a monster finish bringing Dana White to his feet. Let's take a look here. Big right hand, clips him on the chin here, throws a head kick. That rocked him badly, even through the guard. He is sleeping up against the fence here. Look at that, jaw goes flying to the side. I think the head kick, that right hand wobbles him. That lands with the knee, that force of that left kick. I'm he was, impressed. He, he was out going down. Oh, and yeah. And you called it early on. He is such a dangerous striker and finisher. Yeah! Should I bring him a contract now or? Ladies and gentlemen, the fight stops at four minutes, 27 seconds of round number one. Your winner by way of knockout, Armin Petrosian.